So this is the key of Zorn Ever After. Uh, uh, sorry, I got mixed up. This is the key of Zorn Around the World. I'm sorry I said after or after. I, I get my words kind of scrambled up sometimes. So this ride is kind of like Avatar Play of Passage over at Animal Kingdom, except you don't sit on a chair like a bike. You actually just sit on a chair on a hang glider instead. Yeah. Well, the thing that made Flight of Passage and Soren similar is, is the big screen. And there's a new ride at Legoland, inspired by the Lego movie called Masters of Flight. It's the same as Soren. It's really enjoyable. I've never been on it, but I've heard of it before. It's a really nice ride. And I definitely recommend this ride here at Epcot for you guys to enjoy. It is a really nice one. And there's the Soren stretch break. Yeah. The Soren... Oh, that Soren game is interactive. That stretch break was kind of a game break to take a break from the game. Yeah. And before Soren Around the World was born, they used to name this Soren Over California. They have this at at Disneyland and at Shanghai Disneyland and here at Epcot. But they changed it from Soren Over California to Soren Over the World. Yeah, it is named Soren Around the World, but I like to call it Soren Over the World. It is one amazing ride. Definitely recommend you guys to try this one here at Epcot. Sometimes fast passes can be tricky, but you should always look for a good time. Standby can be crazy long, and sometimes it was crazy long at Avatar Flight of Passage once. And I think that's about it for the queue. Oh, yeah. And it's time for us to go soaring around the world.